Well, good morning. Welcome back to Central Ontario. It's about the freezing mark this morning. It's a little chilly. Winter is definitely coming. Not sure if you can figure out what we're up to today, but got a lot of work to do, so we better get going. Come along for the ride. So, hey, I thought we were done with wood for the year, and I gotta be honest, I didn't think I'd be seeing another split of firewood until next year sometime, and as much as I enjoyed doing it, I was kinda, kinda thankful. Because <laughs> we've had a lot of wood lately, but uh, got a call last night. We've got a couple, some neighbors down the road, elderly couple, real nice folks. And uh, got a shout last night, and apparently they're a little shy on wood for the winter. So a couple of us are going to get together, go see if we can scrummage up out of the forest. So I'm just going to throw the ballast box on here for a little bit of weight. Fire it up. Let's go head out for the day and see what we can do to help out. Cheers. I don't think I've ever brought you back into this area of the forest before, but uh, we've got a couple of maples that have come down, so Bob and Guy have been back here marking them and getting them ready. And we're going to need a little help from the old B2601 and the grapple, because as you can see, they're way back in kind of untraveled areas, so we're going to have to be really careful today. Got the ballast box on so I can keep my footprint small, and I'm going to have to be weeding in and out through here and being careful of, you know, the different undulations in the ground, the rocks, those kind of things. Either way, good thing we're wearing orange because it's hunting season. So if you hear a few shots in the background, that's not the tractor backfiring. All right, grab a coffee, stick around. Should be an interesting day. Cheers.
Okay, I think I'm gonna wrap it up with you guys for now. We got a lot of work ahead of us, but uh, we certainly recovered a ton of maple out of deep in the forest. If you don't have a grapple and you do this kind of work and you've got property with forest, honest, take a look. There's a whole bunch of different types of grapples out there, different sizes, different shaped tines. Some are made of, you know, commercial steel, some of that high carbon stuff, but there's a lot of choices, but definitely this thing is a godsend because we used to have to drag those out with chains all the way from the forest out to the trail here so we could split them and trailer them. And it just makes such quick work and so easy on the body and easy on the back. If you like the channel, please click subscribe, hit the like button, and if you wanna know when I'm posting videos, just click that little bell. Thanks so much for sticking around. Have a wonderful week with your families and we'll see you again on the next one. Cheers.